Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for being here, all of you, new, old, and upcoming. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, like the videos. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I just inhaled some incense. That's nothing special. That's not part of the reading. That's just normal. Um, you know, comment down below if anything resonates. Um, still going to be trying doing these things as premieres, okay? Just different times. Um, if you happen to be popping on, be sure to vote in that poll, okay? Um, and let me know what you think of this theme, all right? So we're going to just be trying different things at this time. See what works best for lives and premieres, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and do a general collective reading right now. Let me see, what do I want to start with? We'll just keep with this, okay? So take what resonates and leave the rest, all right? Whatever is in y'all's energy at this time, spirit what the collective needs to know. I'm going to do overall energy, timing, and identify with the Moonology messages, manifestation deck. Sorry, I don't have that other deck yet. All right. I was just thinking about it, too. Right, you have first quarter moon in Aries. You could be in Aries for dealing with one. Step into your power. Okay. You might need to take the lead on something. Or at least strengthen up. Your solar plexus might be calling for some attention at this time. Might need to be making some power moves. Let's see. Or at least just strengthening that part of you. Okay. Gibbous moon, you're very close to achieving your goal. Okay, so it might be just a final push towards something. Or at least an indication not to give up at this time. Let's see what this is about. Work, love, life, what's this about, spirit? You're discovering the myriad facets of who you are. Okay, so this could be something that you're trying to figure out for yourself. I just heard past life. Maybe it's a past life connection. One more. Taurus energy might be significant for you. Fertile, self-indulgent, sensuous, bright, patient, possessive, rational, loyal, comforts, materialism, food, earthy. Maybe things you feel deeply connected to in the tangible. Um, this could also just indicate being patient with the process and stepping into your power. Maybe not trying to force anything. All right. You know, I'm going to go ahead and pull some more identifiers for you. And I know this might get Spidey's attention. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> he is in love with these dice. Okay. What other signs that the collective might be dealing with or are? I also heard placements too. Okay. Hearing rising and part of fortune. Interesting. Okay. okay, he didn't move. Good. You have cancer. Scorpio. Uh, Virgo. And Leo, all right? Okay. Okay, all right. I just saw it, I was just kind of instructed, or at least guided, to look at these signs as what they are in the tarot. So we have the chariot, um, death, yeah, death, <laughs> hermit, and uh, strength here. So obviously something is transforming. Something's uh, being moved through here. And you might have to be strong and go within. Be in the present moment, I'm hearing, okay? To really receive whatever this transformation is or this final step, okay? And it's real personal to your journey and who you are. 
Okay, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take some of these letter tiles. D6. Okay. The letter U might be significant. R. C. I. Hold on a second. Ooh, I almost see the word auric as an aura here. Okay. X might be significant. Maybe a former situation. And D. Maybe something that needed to be released or had been released with rid here. The word cut is there, but I'm seeing a cow. So maybe a cow is significant. Bovine. Rx. Medicine. Okay. Those could be first, last, middle initials as well. All right. Let's see. What's this about, Spirit? That could be the food earthy thing maybe um, maybe there's something about cutting out maybe like beef at this time beef specifically maybe there's or lessening it too much of it all right pin new job or career oh you might be bringing that in cleansing out a blockage and maybe it's dietary. Okay. You are highly thought of with Bo. Let's see what else spirit. in need of help, assistance, and guidance. This could be someone external to you might needing some, some suggestion as well. Like maybe they're kind of at a misstep right now and they just don't know what else to do. Okay. A meeting with a stranger could be important. All right. This could be in a career capacity. All right, let's pull from the life purpose oracle spirit. This is feeling very life purposey. Okay. Let's get three, please. All right, interesting. Whole stack came out. We'll take them all. Practice, polish your skills by practicing regularly. Freedom, you're free to do what you choose. And school, the answer that you're seeking involves going to school. So maybe somebody's trying to get some sort of education, some knowledge, okay? Maybe this is practice for you to help others get that education. Flip it and switch it. It could be you <clears throat> going to somebody for guidance, okay? Of some kind or another here. And it's to practice some sort of skill of who you are here. That's real tangible. Could be in a career setting or a job or a hobby that turns into something lucrative. One, please. Relationship wise with this stranger, please. Make the effort. Okay. So, this is something very important. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So, this may be part of um, a greater path here. All right. All right, tell me more. There's movement forward here, however. 
especially with that chariot energy. I'm not really seeing death as an ending, I'm seeing it as more of a transformation. And the hermit's also a wise guide, too, a sage. So you could be this sage, or they could be a sage, all right? Speaking of death, funeral, 19 and 10, October might be significant. They do lead to new beginnings, and it came out in the forefront. Unexpected money, 27 and 9. Maybe there's some blockage removed that allows you to move forward in this situation now, in the tangible. And it is lucrative. It could be healthcare oriented with short illness here. 31 and 4. This could be physical. This could be mental. Let's see. What is this illness? This could be spiritual. What is this illness? Mind, body, or spirit, or a combination. Small child could involve a small child, children maybe even. We do have children here. This could also just be this new beginning. 18 and 9. We have 9 twice here, September and April as well. One more. Military. Okay. So definitely something official, probably with a child. Okay. Um, or at least a new start that is going to lock in. Okay, and this could very well be with this new job. Okay, that could be the new start here. 22, 4 again, April. Okay. If that's the case, Spirit, let's get Bluebird Lenormand on it. Tell me more. Just three, please. Not to a full spread or anything. <clears throat> I'm hearing worry does not change an outcome. We do have that here with the cross, okay? Burdens can lift if you persevere. Ground your strength. That's stepping into your power, okay? And financial resources. Just be mindful of where you spend your time, money, and energy, okay? Use your power to be strong and fair. Cross, tower, and bear. The bear might be a significant animal for someone. I do see a path here that's actually going to be strong and move you towards calmer waters here with the Six of Wands and Six of Swords. There may be travel involved with the Eight of Wands here. It could just be fast communication. Um, let's see, what other placements do we have here? Jupiter Leo, Mercury Libra. And Mercury Sagittarius, for those that know those placements. That could be for you, if you know your placements, okay? We do have Mercury twice and Jupiter, so definitely some communication. Some taking charge energy here and being fair, okay? Let's see here, Spirit. Is this the collective that needs to make this communication or just be on the receiving end? <clears throat> Capricorn energy. Oh, it's something you need to be aware of. Okay. The devil, we got the three of cups, and king of wands. I have a feeling you're going to be on the receiving end. I 
with Scorpio, Sagittarius, high aspected, Leo and Aries energy as well. Again with Mercury energy and Cancer this time, the Three of Cups. I'm hearing acquaintance. So perhaps this coworker situation, or this could even be a customer, may end up becoming some kind of um, short-term kind of connection as well. This is definitely an opportunity to overcome adversity here as well. I'm seeing that with the devil and abundance, the three of cups here, okay? And it's something to passionately drive you forward here and be in this king of wands energy. Journalism could be significant. <laughs> I also see something event planning or birthdays, you know, some kind of a celebratory thing here with the cake and the fireworks. And so there may be something there. Okay. Clarify this devil energy spirit. Um, you could be dealing with a drunk. <laughs> that could be an identifier. Uh, this could just be confusion, illusion. Maybe this person coming through just doesn't know what to do. Okay, that's why they need your guidance. Okay, that's the adversity here. Um, Venus, Scorpio. Okay, it might be a signifier here as well. So definitely some kind of partnership relationship is. Uh, blossoming here okay I do get a sense that you're going to be more of a guide because you know the king of wands typically just leads by example right so I don't think it's going to be anything where you, this person's going to be your protege and work for you I think you're going to be working with them but in sort of like um like a training capacity if you will right it's short term Okay. All right, spirit. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's break out the doggo tarot. Let's see if there's anything that the collective needs to know specifically regarding this situation. What guidance they might need at this time. Queen of Wands, to stand in your truth, okay? All right, sorry, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, okay. So you could be a fire sign, <laughs> since I <laughs> mentioned that. But no, typically this is Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here. But definitely stand in your truth. Speak your truth. Be honest. Five of Pentacles is here. And one more. Getting a sense of bringing togetherness here. And five of cups in the reverse. Interesting. All right. Remove your worries. There you go. There's the worries. Worry does not change an outcome, okay? It's time to change the mental on something here so that you can move forward and actually allow this opportunity to come in. All right? To help you polish those skills okay this may be part of a grander scheme that's just not a, you know you're not aware of right now um maybe your higher self you know it's not in divine timing for you to know exactly where this is, puzzle piece fits in but this is definitely something that's moving you forward here okay all right let's get you some more guidance make some space here so I'm not a total mess <laughs> you may need to learn some new things I'm gonna leave that up there but you're free to decide what you do okay there's probably more than one way to do it and you're probably learning all the different ways you can however you're gonna guide this person or this situation or how they're gonna work with you okay all right. 
let me just pull out a few decks here. Oop, look how dropping them. All right. Let's get to work your light spirit. Let's get three. Initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. All right. Definitely very close to achieving this goal here. Just a little more to go, right? Protection, call pack, your power, cut cords, and soul retrieval. So that would be, um, Especially with that Five of Pentacles energy coming out, there might be some energy that might be a little codependent, and you're going to be in the devil, too, came out. So be aware of that. Make sure you know your energy. And you remain sovereign and autonomous, okay? What else? Take a break, okay? A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So just kind of go with the flow with this. All right. Don't try to push again. Don't try to control or push too hard on it. All right. What else, Spirit? Well, Spirit. Go with the flow. What did I say? <laughs> Just a confirmation. <laughs> I said what I said. All right. What else, spirit? Again, yeah, don't, you know, don't force. Just flow. Okay. Miracles. Definitely be open to these blessings. See everything as a, a lesson or a test or something that's going to help you grow. Okay. There's a benefit to everything. Dive deep. Oh, I was just thinking too. And if something triggers you, right? Something kind of exposes sort of an ego wound or a trauma or something about a situation like mistrust or something like that, which is why the worry could be here as well. Shadow work might be needed at this time. Okay. So just pay attention to when you do get a trigger, because then that means you can go ahead and find the tools in your, your spiritual toolbox up until this point and kind of work on what you need to do to kind of shed some light on these shadows okay and with that i will also pull from one of our more darko darker shadowy decks as well okay i'm going to start with that actually did i have a choice let's see um what am i feeling all right goddess nix it is let's get a few here for the collective dive deep is this want me to pull from Halloween too okay interesting beauty see the beautiful things beautiful side on light side on things okay beauty being skin deep you might have to look beyond the veil to see the beauty behind okay in other words aim for optimism not pessimism right be kind of realistic about it as well but still kind of look through things okay examine whether or not really truly a, th a threat or not what else? This could be a hard time doing that. That could be the shadow. Well, let me clean this. It feels a little sticky. There we go. Much better. <laughs> really get into your feels in a way that's healthy. Okay. High priestess, high priestess of water here. You have two fours. You are divinely protected to do so. This is also for your stability and your personal balance, okay? This is also a card of being emotionally intelligent and really just kind of seeing things for what they are, okay? Feeling out what it is, okay? <laughs> like, 
being truthful about your feelings, okay? Acknowledging your emotions, right? Understanding the emotions are energy in motion, all right? Water healing might be needed. Oh, interesting. Okay. I just saw um, a spiritual bath. Okay, so you might need to up your spiritual baths. Or in some way connect with water. Drink more water. All right. And high priestess of spirit. Okay, really deeply connect with self at this time. Okay. Talk to your higher self. They know a lot. Number seven might be significant as well. Your entire spirit team, whoever you connect with, okay? There's something in your subconscious they want to show you that needs to be healed, but... I think you need to be ready for it. Cleanse yourself and you will. Okay. All right. I'm seeing these faces too as sort of past life energy, sort of ancestral maybe. Maybe this might be some sort of generational curse or it could just be some leftover karma from a past life that is an opportunity to transcend it as well at this time. Okay. And it could be very small. I'm not feeling like it's a big thing, right? This is one little thing. So you might need to be in flow in order to receive it, okay? All right. And Halloween. <laughs> and this should be fun. We'll see. I'm always down to celebrate Halloween early. <laughs> there we go. Well, we are at the cusp of Beltane, and Beltane and Samhain have very similar energy, so it's a cycle, but it's just as strong, and that could be deeply connected with ancestors and past lives, too, so let's see. Ooh, there might be something pertinent about um, the witching hour. Midnight, the most magical hour of all, maybe during your dreams or your sleep state as well. Ghost regrets. Regret could be significant. Again, with that worry. Like worrying about making a mistake again type of thing. Trick or treat, mischief or play. This could be something having to do with your inner child um, wounding as well. Okay. Maybe there's something that would identify it from your inner child days, your childhood days, okay? This is also a sense of not taking things so seriously, to have fun, um, but in a very responsible kind of way. It's also talking about community and gatherings and getting together and having a good time, that Three of Cups energy, okay? All right, let's see what our new deck here. Okay, let's get one from the herbiary. How are we doing on time? Okay, not too bad. Just one, please. Forbidden fruit, apple. Maybe there's something from the past that is dumb. You know, like that's uh, you want to do the, what you feel is untraditional, right? Like this could be about something that's just not allowed from your childhood. Okay, let's see. Forbidden fruit. Apple has been given grief since in the beginning, when she learned that feeding people and teaching them to know themselves can be a dangerous thing. She became associated with snakes, shame, again with that regret, right, and fig leaves. And it's been dance lessons, courtesies, and domestication from there. So there's some sort of oppressive feeling here. Apple is the witch of the wild wood, forced to clean up and come in for tea. But a skirt and pumps can't hide her knowledge of the circling stars and cycling seasons. So maybe this is something that's coming back around. 
the deep loam of the earth and the warm weep of a summer rain. We may think that we've tamed wild apple and brought her to heel, but even quasi-domesticated, she still gifts us with the sweetness of understanding ourselves. Apple asks you, what have you forbidden yourself? Okay. So maybe that's the thing that this will be tying into for you. Let me do a little clean up here, guys. <laughs> All right, metaphysical cannabis. We'll just get one, please. Well, we got two. Numo Nomo, change. And wizard, balance, okay? So you might feel an energetic shift, okay, with your aura at this time. And it may be something that's going to recalibrate you and balance you back out. Okay, there we go. The numbers also may be significant as well. This is a unique deck. One, two, three. So there's progress. All right. So 123 might be significant. Six might be significant. 33 might be significant. What else do we have here? December, January, March, April. We also have the 1st, the 12th, the 23rd, the 3rd. Okay. There you are. Okay. The Numo Nomo is the chameleon of the culture suite. Suit. Sweet. Interesting. As culture changes, we change, and as we progress through life from adolescence to full-grown adults, it may feel like we're battling ourselves and or, or our programs, what we've been conditioned, right? So this could very well be something that you're trying to transcend. Numo Nomo appears when the conditioning you have been inputting into your operating system is no longer compatible. You could have had an energetic shift and your frequency raised and you realize it doesn't feel as authentic anymore, right? This is a call for you to wrap yourself around what you think you know and what you may have been instilled in you as default by parents, grandparents, and even possibly your friends, exes, and society as a whole. And given perhaps seeing all the generations here too in the generational curse thing, this might be connected with that, okay? Small mushrooms gather around Numonomo and in the background of the card as a reminder to connect to the entire network of beings on the planet. We are all intertwined within each other as we all come from the same source of energy. Connect with your inner warrior, healer, lover, friend, and be the chameleon of your own life. At times, you may even see the confirmation of the rainbow, reminding you all that all is well. Okay, so rainbows might be significant confirmations for you, signs, synchronicities at this time. The world is much smaller than you could imagine. Our connections to others are intertwined more than you know. Okay, so maybe you're going to be able to see now the interconnectedness of all things. Okay, and this stranger will feel like home. Okay, feel like soul family or something. I do get the sense that this might be building towards that. Okay, there is definitely some significance here. It could be a soulful connection that is only meant to be temporary to show you that, and then it'll go away. Okay, so be sure you don't get codependent on them too with that five of pentacles and, and devil energy, all right? Just be mindful that it might be just something to show you the way and kind of go, hey, this is confirmation that you've hit the next step of, of your journey here, okay? Wizard, 79, might be significant, age, birth here. July, September, 16, 7, might be significant, 7th, 9th, all right. The plant spirit for this card is basil, so you might want to put more basil into your diet as well since it popped up. It'll benefit you at this time and your aura. <laughs> Help cleanse with everything. Basil's amazing for so many things. 
In the wizard card, we see how a person has transformed after applying the lessons learned. The wizard in the card is standing on the pier watching the waves carry off the sand. He maintains a sense of balance, knowing that what is his will come to him and will not pass him by. The wizard stands with three joints lined up, representing moving into the next stages of a situation. <laughs> there we go. The wizard always shows up when it's time to travel. And we did have that kind of travel energy movement, right? We've got the chariot, got the eight of, eight of wands. All right. While he stands with his back to us, we must wait for him to turn around, symbolizing the patience of the joint. The momentum to turn the ground herbs into a wand signifies growth and a rite of passage delivered by the wizard. Okay. This is definitely part of your path and your journey at this time. The next leg movement forward. All right. Anything practical that the collective can do at this time to assist in this process, in this right of passage? Let's get three spec, please. Get into nature. Coexistence, gather, limit, waste. Some be more hands-on with Gaia at this time, not just for grounding purposes, but maybe to get that energy moving, okay? Find your voice, express yourself, open up, sing out. That will actually strengthen not just your throat chakra, your high heart chakra, but also your solar plexus. You might be clear audience, and that may be something that kind of peaks now at this time, okay? Um... What else? Spirit. And respect your bo physical body. Detox, rejuvenate, and relax. Okay? Definitely help you go with the flow. All right? In the tangible. Enjoy the finer things, the comforts, the creature comforts. Okay? But at the same time, in a sort of a healthier kind of way with diet. I definitely see diet popping up kind of a bit here. Especially with uh, basil and, you know, just the food, the earthiness of things. Okay? This could also be maybe an indication to start composting. <laughs> there may be some spiritual practice with that for you, for some of you. All right. Remember, anything you do in the tangible could be a, a practice of sorts. It's your intention that goes into it that guides it, okay? And that may be something that you're practicing at this time. All right, let's see here. I feel like pulling from, oof, hold on a sec, guys. I got these out of order. I got to fix that. That's going to drive me nuts. I'm going to inadvertently grab the wrong deck. Okay, here we go. Let's get one from Pia Moria. Nice. We have 43. She of the Lotus. Oh, that was my chair, by the way, rubbing up against the table. That wasn't a fart or anything, I promise. <laughs> All right. Shadow work, addressing dissonance, seeing downfalls as the flip side of superpowers. Loving yourself back to wholeness. The beautiful lotus that grows from murky waters. Disempowering triggers. We did have triggers come up, so this might be an opportunity to learn how to do that. All right, if you haven't already, or at least a chance to practice. Okay. Bringing light into your dark corners. Take a look at any unconscious patterns that may be running you. Are there elements of yourself you need to take out of the trash? dust off and reabsorb. Shadows can be painful or tender to the touch. Sensitivity, sensitivity, in an area can be a trigger that shows us where we might want to spring clean some of our dark, darker, forgotten, ignored, or hidden corners. Accepting our shadows is the first stage in restoring ourselves to wholeness, at least the appearance of wholeness. You remember, you're always whole, no matter how wounded the ego is, right? In self-love, Peel back the layers where there is shame, guilt, or fear, and bring them into daylight. 
Ooh, daylight might be helpful at this time. Under a loving and compassionate light, they will resolve, reassimilate, so you can re-engage with your superpowers. Okay. I also saw swimming. It is almost time, you know, to hit up the beaches and the pools and the lakes and ponds and things. So maybe go swimming this week at some point, okay? Actually, just immerse your body. Um, I also saw a hot tub, a sauna. <laughs> okay? So it could be that too. Just immerse yourself, all right? And if you don't have access to that, I'm sure a spiritual bath is more than adequate, okay? So you're going to have to like transcend some of these triggers that may, may be coming back up. And I wouldn't say don't feel bad, okay? I don't really get the sense this is something that you missed, okay? Or that you overlooked or that you put on the back burner, okay? I get a sense this is something you had worked on before, but your higher self hadn't exposed fully all of it yet because you weren't ready. And now you are, okay? It's almost like the next layer of an onion, okay, is ready to be peeled here, okay? All right, final guidance from Foxfire to Sunei, please. <laughs> ah, water healing, love it. Four, call forth the waves. All right. Spirit be funny, huh? <laughs> A little too on the nose. All right. There are times when all is tranquil and beautifully so. And there are times when all is simply too still and nothing has changed because nothing has been done. Too much for too long has stayed the same. And now this denizen of the seas of energy which surrounds the realm of the Kitsune is urging you to call forth the waves and to stir the world around you into action. Again, with that step into your power, right? For there is much to be done and many things which are bringing discontent. And yet all is remaining the same, so much so that it seems that this stasis is natural, just simply the way things are. But she, this being of the sea, is here to tell you that this is not how things must remain. And she will show you how to call up the waves of pure energy from within. I have a feeling you're going to connect with her, with this um, high priestess of spirit, okay? The emotional energy which sustains and feeds you, the watery energy of memories, again with that child, okay? And the psyche which gathers its strength and pours through the world and lifts up all that has stayed too hidden, too long hidden, so it can be seen and changed with pure raw energy. Call forth the waves now, friend, raise them high. And let us see what power there is in initiating change, being active and courageous, and immersing ourselves into the pouring forth of the energy that has been held too long within, restrained, tethered for no good reason, or perhaps because it wasn't allowed to be, right, by tradition, okay? Call forth the waves, connect to this great primal tidal force, and know that no matter how formidable change may be, it is a living thing, unlike stasis and the quiet of intimidation. Rise up and see who joins you, perhaps, <laughs> with this handshake in the meeting with a stranger. I lost my place. Hold on, guys. As you dare to take the ride of your own life and upon the waves that you called up, you shall dance. I'm now seeing a surfer. So go with the flow. Okay. Ride the waves. Know you are a free and powerful being filled with instinctive energy. Others will rise to join you. And as you do this, your life will be filled with a raw, new and cleansing energy. Okay. Now surfer could be an identifier. Or that, that could be literal. <laughs> All right. Who knows? Maybe you're going to start surfing? <laughs> or you are a surfer? <laughs> and now it's the time to call forth the waves, right? Love it. There you go, guys. Hopefully that helps. Comment down below. Vote in the poll. And until next time, bye.